I'm going to read some verses from Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek or Gentile. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Or the moon means hold back the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You see, when you and I look around at creation, we see the creation of God, and it's obvious, and we're accountable to the God of heaven. And because of the creation, we can understand that God exists and he's out there. And it makes us without excuse before the Lord. I wonder, have you ever thought concerning your sin? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And yet there is forgiveness with God that he may be feared. And so your soul can be saved as a result of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. You see, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Now John chapter 12, verses um, 44 to 50. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on, on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me re and rejecteth, or he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ is the perfect servant, sent from the Father in heaven to die upon the cross for your sin and mine. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. We're all in the same boat. We need salvation. We need forgiveness for those sins. That forgiveness is only possible through the Lord Jesus Christ himself and his precious blood that was shed, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. You see, we cannot go and be forgiven by a priest or anyone like that, because the word of God says, Acts 4 chapter 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven, given among men whereby we must be saved. If you're not saved, you remain in a lost condition and heading down to hell into the judgment of God because your sins have not been forgiven. And yet today, you can receive forgiveness for your sins through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Just come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Just agree with God that you're a sinner and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.